he, he's been pretty specific about it. You're stealing our intellectual property. Um, you're manipulating your currency. You're not doing your job with the North Koreans. I mean, Ambassador Kramer, uh, this seems like a, a hefty wish list or to-do list for um, anybody. It is. It's a, it's a shift in direction. And um, uh, I think we're beginning to believe that President-elect Trump says what he means. And it's pretty clear that those things that you listed um, are among those. But it won't be a surprise, and the Chinese will understand that Governor Branstad is um, not only representative of the United States, but by accepting this job, he is ag agreeing with the agenda that the president-elect brings to the table. Mm -hmm. So that won't be a surprise. Um, I think one thing you didn't mention was the Chinese have been quite provocative in some of their acts in, in the South China Seas, uh, and building an island. Exactly. <laughs> and trying to uh, extend their territory. And I think that will be an interesting discussion for us to point out that that is provocative. I really do think um, the strong rhetoric actually creates opportunities yes, for blunt conversation about some issues that have, have drug on a long time. Why do and you say that, Mary? I say that because um, I find it really useful to have the hard stuff on the table. It isn't the 100-pound elephant with the rug over it anymore. <laughs> it is. Let's, it's right out there. And so we both know that we're going to have to discuss it.